So I realized after doing this video that it would have been way more um, useful in English. So I'll try to do a, a voice uh, narration of this video uh, in English and explain what I'm doing and, and uh, try to follow the, the video. So it's all about trying to redeem the balance from two of these coins, physical bitcoins. Um, one is one bitcoin and one is half a bitcoin. There was a video I could find on, on YouTube, but it was using uh, Mt. Gox for redeeming these uh, codes. Uh, and this video instead I will use Bitcoin Armory to, to redeem the balance. Uh, also, there is a website where you can test if the coin still have the balance intact, if it's still active, or if it has been opened or uh, used. So the actual code is, is hidden under this sticker. And uh, it's somehow difficult to get it away. Uh, I will try with a knife, uh, as they did in the video. But these uh, coins has been not used for a few more years, so, so it was somehow tricky to get them uh, away. Uh, now I'm typing in the, the code that is visible without using the coin that is uh, possible to use to check the balance and if it's active or if it has been used. So I confirm the 0 0.5 Bitcoin uh, coin and now I'm also entering the public part of the public address uh, of the one Bitcoin coin to confirm that it's also still active and has not been uh, redeemed or claimed already. So there it is, one Bitcoin and half a Bitcoin. And on this website you can also see how many coins are still remaining of different uh, balance. And it's both coins and, and bars. And uh, for the bars you have uh, 100, 500 and 1000 Bitcoin. And I noticed after doing this video that even with the traditional coins, you have a few uh, 1000 Bitcoin uh, coins, which seems very scary to, to, to me to, to have those. Um, I only had this uh, one and one half uh, Bitcoin uh, coins that I am redeeming in this uh, video. There is a guy in Sweden who actually offered to sell a 100 Bitcoin bar, but it was already, of course, redeemed. Uh, but just that it's nice to have, and uh, I unfortunately decided not to buy it at that time. Uh, so now I'm uh, going to try to remove this sticker or this uh, plastic... Uh, that holds the private key and I'm trying to figure out how they did it in this video and then just uh, do the same using a knife. I was very careful to not uh, destroy anything, but uh, now when I know how they look on the on the inside, uh, the actual code is in the real center of the sticker, so it's not a big. Uh, you don't have to be that careful, uh, actually. So that's how the coin looks like after you have removed these uh, 
plastic sticker that was hiding or holding the private key. And the actual sticker with the private key is shown here and of course I have already transferred the money to another address uh, directly after doing this video. So it's uh, no point of trying to uh, access this uh, Bitcoins, they have been transferred since a long time ago, once this video is uploaded. I'm also removing the sticker from the one Bitcoin uh, coin, physical coin, and um, in the same way, and it um, it was not that uh, that difficult once you, you, you managed one, one coin, it's... Uh, not that tricky. And there we go. There is the coin. And there is the small piece of sticker, including the private key. The next step. Det här blir ju spännande att se om det här funkar lite. För det här guiden och allting var var väldigt väldigt gamla. Det var från tiden då man som sagt löste in de här koderna på på Mt. Gox hemsida. Så jag har inte sett någon guide eller video där de faktiskt läser in den här BE Armory. Den it's actually impossible to import them directly to the traditional Bitcoin Core wallet. I tried this uh, uh, after I did this video just to confirm that it's not possible. So the only way I know uh, from reading on the website and from trying myself is to redeem this private key using and the balance using a Bitcoin Armory wallet. Uh, that has support for this uh, type of private key. And I'm choosing the second option because I trust that no one else ever known this uh, private key other than myself. So you have to enter the passphrase for your wallet uh, after entering the private key you want to import. Now I didn't see this but as you shown by the arrow a successful import shows that everything was fine. Um, so I'm entering now the second coin private key and this is the one Bitcoin uh, private key. Once again, I've already transferred the balance from this um, from this wallet, uh, from this uh, address. So if you want to go ahead and import it yourself, you can, you can do that. But remember, uh, this has been shown on the internet, so it's not secure. Uh, to use that wallet because anyone has to access to the private key. Um, once again, entering the passphrase for my wallet in Bitcoin Armory, and now it's imported, and you have the same message showing successful import. Now I went on the help menu and decided to rescan. Because I can't still see any balance, so I guess it has to rescan. And uh, I um, closed uh, the Armory wallet and um, restart it. So when it restarts, it's going to do a full rescan of all the blockchain looking for these uh, new imported addresses if there is any balance. And this this part of the process took way more time than uh, expected, so I've uh, both speeded up th this uh, video and also cut uh, most of the 
synchronization is is removed from from this video. Minska så snabbt så kanske det här går bra men Jag kommer att göra en 11 timmars video. Also you might have noticed that it says node offline in the bottom right corner of the window uh, something that shown up later to be uh, important when doing the transaction so i'll get back to this once uh, we reach this uh, part when when i'm trying to do transaction to another address for doing the rescan it's fine that it's it's offline it's just going to be a few days um, from the current time so this process took about well a few hours i would say one or two hours and uh, once i realize it's going to take so much time i pause the video and i will get back when it's uh, just a matter of minutes uh, remaining Pausar videon här och sen så slår jag igång den igen när det bara är några minuter kvar. Så nu är jag tillbaka. Och det här är bara en recap av vad jag har gjort. Jag har två stycken mynt. Två coins, en med halva bitcoin och en med en bitcoin. Jag har använt båda plaststickarna från baksidan. I used those private keys in Bitcoin Armory uh, to import those uh, addresses or private keys. And then I had to do a resync using the help menu where you find a resync option or rescan option. Um, and when restarting the wallet, it takes a, a lot of time to uh, rescan the whole blockchain for the balance. And now we're just seconds away from finishing. And there we go. Now it's parsing and resolving TX hashes. And now we have 1.5 Bitcoin that has been redeemed from two private keys uh, from those physical coins. Still notice that the node is offline. So uh, it's not possible right now to do transactions because that requires the, the Bitcoin node to be online. So now this is like a couple of hours later when I've been struggling to find the working combination of Bitcoin Armory and the Bitcoin full node, the Bitcoin core. Uh, I ended up downloading the latest version of uh, both and uh, I, I let the Bitcoin Core full node resync or, or um, synchronize till the current block height before I started uh, Armory. Uh, and uh, this time it was working. Uh, it says connected and we have the co uh, correct number of, of blocks. The block height is correct. Uh, so Finally, I think we are uh, ready to go. I'm going to change the transaction fee. Um, you're going to notice it's a cut in the video here. So suddenly I'm changing the, the fee for transaction. Showed up that it was, uh, yeah, it was not very good when, when it was on auto. So I put uh, manually 250 uh, Satoshi. And now I'm trying to make a transaction with the maximum amount where it removes the transaction fee and uh, total will be exactly 1.5 Bitcoin. I have to enter the pass, uh, passphrase for my wallet and as soon as I click unlock, transaction is signed and it's broadcasted. And there you go, uh, 1.5 Bitcoin has now been uh, sent away from this Armory wallet. And uh, 
And that's the end of the video. I successfully managed to redeem one and a half Bitcoin from two physical coins with the help of Bitcoin Armory wallet. Thank you for watching.